We are at the top of the Oso slide and we're looking out over the valley. You can see the North Fork Stillaguamish is coming through the landslide deposit. Salmon have been using the river the entire time. We didn't see a large decline after the landslide. The salmon have evolved and adapted to a landscape that has these large landslides on some frequency, sometimes every few hundred years, sometimes more frequent. A disturbance can be a reset for um, a landscape. It can add complexity and biodiversity overall to the landscape matrix. An event like this initially for wildlife would cause mortality, but over time, it actually becomes attractive for certain species. It used to be that a lot of the groundwater coming out of the slide was carrying a slurry of clay, but since the slide, the groundwater's been reoriented how it goes through the deposit, so it's actually been cleaner since 2014. So you can just see all these beaver chews here. There's paths everywhere. And earlier we saw the beaver dam that's actually blocking the small stream yeah. that's here. So they've impounded this whole area and it's just quite impressive. I've never seen uh, this much beaver activity um, mm -hmm. in the Stillaguamish uh, watershed before. I think if you come back, you know, 20, 30 years from now, you won't even probably be able to see the slide from the highway. And then from here, you'll have this head scarp that'll still be probably fairly raw, but the body of the landslide deposit is probably going to be mostly <coughs> hidden in a forest. 